the uh, Death Star and uh, basically going back in and uh, there's a few uh, areas that I got to uh, where I didn't mask off really well I've just got to uh, uh, square up with some paint a couple places that I uh, actually missed when I painted it the initial time I started to paint the uh, uh, dish here and I got to go back over it I, I forget my uh, choice of colors especially when I have airbrush paint always uh, extra extra thin and I'll uh, i uh, got to go back in and uh, just paint in a little uh, the dish a little bit more. I got a, I got about two different uh, shades of gray. It's uh, not as dark as the outside. It's a little lighter on the inside, kind of like if you see on the, the uh, reference photos. But anyway, I'm uh, getting that. I'm going to try to finish that up today and then go back in and uh, paint a few more areas. Uh, like I'll show you right here. Uh, notice it's darker right there. That's for me not uh, mixing it very well. Uh, actually should have I actually mixed uh, uh, two different colors to get the gray and I uh, didn't think about that when I was touching up anyway I got to fix some of that and there's a there's one other place and that's my fault and I'll try to touch it up best I can but when I uh, taped it off I actually scored the uh, 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 I guess the uh, Death Star surface right here I'm gonna try to see if I can touch it up with a little bit of paint if not it's actually just gonna have to be a uh, a uh, panel line but then uh, while I do that I'm gonna go in like I've like the original one that was done it was actually painted and then they basically took a toothpick and uh, scratched it off all the uh, panel lines are like on top I didn't bother to mask everything because you'd basically be masking a uh, section at a time and uh, so what I've done is I just basically painted it uh, the gray color and then I just go in and see if we can do it with one hand well let's do it do it with my dominant hand here and where is it where is a good spot well, let's do here you can uh, uh, scrape 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 it off and uh, you can get the uh, desired panel line and you don't have to uh, uh, you know mask or anything that's the beauty thing about having an enamel uh, base coat and then uh, spray anything uh, acrylic on top and then you can scratch it off with the toothpick and you know just another trick in the modeling book but anyway there's that so hopefully uh, a couple more days and uh, we can start getting this to uh, uh, get it to be done uh, the Impala I went in and I basically fixed my run area sanded smooth just got just a little bit here on the uh, side uh, panel but I think what I want to do is I'm going to put one more coat on uh, and then I'm going to let the uh, future do its magic basically give it a sheen uh, because on the Impala itself uh, on the supernatural one there should be I think a, a, a silver uh, a trim on the side I believe if I remember the uh, but anyway I'll I'll verify that and show a picture of it before I begin but anyway got that side uh, I got to do the top a little bit more not too really satisfied with it. I kind of uh, the ABs kind of did it, and then I had a little run on uh, one side. But anyway, no big deal. Uh, fixed the other side, and we're good to go. And then I took a styrene strip and did uh, just some basic uh, door handles that go on the side there. That's pretty much all I want to do on that. I really can't add too much detail. I mean, you can, but it is an RC car. I mean, uh, you hate to put a whole, you know. Uh, whole lot of work in it you know just in case it accidentally you know crashes into a wall you know and so you just kind of have to do the you know basic uh, detail on it and uh, it should be uh, a okay but anyway there's that so hopefully we'll uh, get a little more done on that uh, tomorrow uh, the MBT I'm basically down to uh, putting primer on you can tell where my hands were holding it uh, I got uh, basically the all one side primered I got the nose fixed. I need to sand just a little bit on the bottom, but I needed to primer it just so I could see where I needed to sand, and then I'll finish primering this other side, and uh, we'll be ready to uh, at least put the base coat on, and then uh, figure out you know markings and all that good stuff. Uh, probably going to put the figures in uh, in the uh, little cockpit area. Uh, the gun mounts. One thing I'm trying to figure out is uh, I may do something different uh, the bracket itself I think is actually it's actually too big for the plane and I hate to I don't I really don't like it it looks uh, to me it 
see now it's disappeared inside the plane but anyway I'll have to go fish that back out um, I just think it I just think it's uh, oversized it looks to me it does um, I'll try to think of something here to uh, you know put the machine gun on I may have to make make a mount and I think it looks more realistic uh, like that than the big uh, frame there but anyway we'll uh, I'll uh, I'll dwell on that a little bit more but anyway we're getting down to painting and uh, or getting down to primering and then we'll get down to uh, do some painting and I got I got a few little things I got to sand the uh, seam on the wheels there that's actually prominent and then I got to get a torpedo which I forgot to do while I was there at the hobby store today I got my receipts for my uh, other purchases but I uh, I forgot to get the model kit that's got the torpedo in it Gosh darn it! I'll have to uh, remember to do that. But anyway, no big deal. We'll uh, we'll get a torpedo for it. Uh, but anyway, that is that on the MBT. Uh, the Impala. I'm hoping. Uh, I'm just about done, really body work wise, and uh, I'm basically I want to hopefully I'm gonna try to get them drilled out the uh, side mirrors and get them uh, stuck in. That's my game plan. But you know, it's always subject uh, to change. The uh, uh, what is it? The Grand Torino. Uh, I went ahead and uh, actually got the base coat on it. I was letting everything dry. Actually, uh, if you've seen it on the social media pages that I post on, it looks real light green, but it wasn't. It was just the lights just shining on it. But this is actually a dark uh, Sherwood green. Uh, it's really, really close to the uh, what the Grand Torino color is. And I don't know. I don't remember exactly what the Ford color was. Uh, but it, uh, I knew it was pretty much spot on the dark metallic, the 1972 for the 72 uh, Grand Torino. So, uh, base coats on. I uh, think I got everywhere. Hopefully, I did. I just got to paint the bottom, which will be a, a black metallic gray type color. And of course, uh, I got to do the uh, inside of the fender well. And uh, the inside of the interior is basically a light green, and uh, I'll probably. Uh, it's a yellow right now, and I'll probably just stick the uh, uh, I'll probably stick the airbrush in like that, and uh, spray the interior uh, very lightly. Or if I don't do that, I think what I'm going to do is just leave the yellow interior, and then just do a lot of green washes and get that. But anyway, we'll get to that. I wanted to get the base coat on and let it dry for days, and uh, we'll be good to go. But anyway. Uh, there is that so that'll be basically next after I do the uh, Impala uh, the crazy horse I uh, Basically finished most of the decals I go on the bottom especially on the cell uh, Back here. I still got to do the little blue tips, which that's no big deal I just got to sit down and do it, but I um, basically want to get the uh, bottom finished so I can put it back on the mount and uh, so I can do the sides and get that done. But I had to put the registry number on, which I had to use JT Graphics. And one thing about JT Graphics decals, once you, and I mean it actually ripped on the uh, zero there. Uh, once you cut it, put it in the water, I mean it was almost instant that came off the paper. And I had to fish it out of the bowl. I couldn't fish it out of my little uh, tray here, which uh, was this is one of the greatest things I've ever bought. It's uh, from Trumpeter, a little decal tray. Man, I uh, I love this thing. I I I got its money worth. I may buy another one just to uh, just to have, uh, just in case it ever uh, goes uh, bad. If it ever does. But anyway, I had to fish that back out, and I had to fix the uh, O and everything. But I got that on there. There is some uh, there's some uh, uh, crooked decals, which is just expected. It's uh, accreation is kind of hard to you know trim the fit, and uh, I got some that I gotta keep putting more solution down just to uh, uh, after I get all the air bubbles out and get everything uh, yeah you know finished on it. But anyway, uh, it's almost done. Just gotta do a little bit here, and uh, I'm ready to put it on the side, do the sides, and then we can start adding the uh, the little uh, you know the phaser bank decals, which I added a couple of them, and then the the uh, thrusters and the uh, Docking ports and side decals, all that. But anyway, we got lots to do, and hopefully, we'll uh, continue on doing more. But anyway, that's what I have got going on today. Uh, decal duty continues on the crazy horse. We are painting the body of the Grand Torino. 
uh, Death Star painting getting close to being done, just doing scraping and detail painting. The MBT is getting uh, primer duty and we're adding door handles too. The Supernatural Impala. So that's what I got going on today. So stay tuned for the next exciting episode.